Somebody's out there living a normal life that she, she never got to live. She never got to grow up and do the things that we're doing now and that these people are doing that took this from us. You think about it every day. Tonight, a 31-year-old cold case is finally solved. The rape and murder of 16-year-old Fawn Cox has been the focus of several KCTV5 investigations. Her killer has finally been identified because of advanced DNA testing. Investigative reporter Angie Racono talked with her family. This is the day Fawn's family has been waiting for, the day they finally get answers, but the answers are tough to hear. They learned today the DNA left at the crime scene matches a relative. The family tells me the match is Donald Cox Jr. and he was Fawn's cousin. It's, it's a relief. There's closure. The answers aren't always what we're, we were asking for, but there's closure. The fact that it's someone that you know well and it's actually a relative, how, how is the family dealing with that? I think we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Just, just having answers helps. Fawn's family always suspected the killer was known to them and Fawn. That's because the killer knew how to sneak in her bedroom window and Fawn never screamed. This case here was kind of the, the best possible case scenario in something like this. Kansas City Police revealed answers came in in just a matter of weeks once they did advanced genetic genealogy testing. And that's where you explore public databases and find relatives of the killer and work your way backwards to reveal the suspect. It's expensive. The FBI paid the bill. Any reduction in funding will only make situations like that less likely to happen in the future. Police are making the clear point that if you defund the police, don't plan on advanced DNA tests, which clearly work. Fawn's family fought a very public battle to get advanced DNA testing. They always said this would crack the case, that the killer was very careful and only left one thing behind, his DNA. And they were absolutely right. Reporting in Kansas City, Angie Racono, KCTV5 News.